हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द सीरीज ऑन द इनकम टैक्स केसेस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द केस ऑफ प्रिंसिपल कमिश्नर ऑफ इनकम टैक्स वर्सेस प्रभव दयाल अग्रवाल दिस केस हैज बीन रिपोर्टेड इन 456 आईटीआर एट पेज नंबर 84 एंड द मैटर हैज बीन डिसाइडेड बाय ऑनरेबल दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट एंड द डेट ऑफ द जजमेंट इज नाइन्थ दिसंबर टू एज ऑल वी नो दैट नाउ इट डेज section 148 is extensively used by the department and the more pain for the assessee is that whenever the notice for section 148 comes a lot of period has already passed due to which it is very difficult for the assessee sometimes to arrange various documents like confirmation bank statement of the parties with whom the assessee has dealt and this pain become more when already the department has assessed the assessee under section 143 subsection 3 and after 4 years or after 5 years the assessee receives the notice under section 148 for again assessing the income of the assessee although there is a safeguard in proviso to section 147 that if the notice is issued after 4 years and that notice is for a year for which the assessment has already been completed under section 143 sub section 3 then in that case the assessing officer has to tell the assessee that the assessee has not disclosed full in uh, full information at the time of the original assessment due to which the income has escaped assessment this is the main rider that the department has to tell that assessee has not disclosed the full information and even in some cases the bombay high court has said that the department has to tell this thing also that how the non disclosure of the information has resulted into escapement of income but in this case the assessment year was related to assessment year 2009 10 already the assessment was done under section 143 sub section 3 and the and when the notice was issued and the reasons were given to the assessee in that notice reasons it was not mentioned even that the assessee has been assessed under section 143 sub section 3 and the assessee has not disclosed full information at the time of the original assessment when the assessment was done the assessment order was passed even in that assessment order the department was not able to demonstrate and even the department has not mentioned in that order that the assessee's original assessment has been completed under section 143 sub section 3 when this assessment was done the reason given for the assessment was that there was a statement recorded by the department of the assessee's share broker the assessee has asked the cross examination of that person but that cross examination was also not given to the assessee when this matter was before the itat because the additions were made by the learned assessing officer the itat has already deleted the demand and quashed the assessment on the basis that the proviso to section 147 has not been complied because it has not been mentioned by the ao that which information the assessee has not disclosed and on the point that the cross examination was not provided to the assessee but the department moved to the high court against the order of the itat and the high court also appealed the order of the itat and said that without cross examination the assessment is not valid and in this case the department has neither shown in the notice under section 148 in the reasons recorded and even in the assessment order that the assessment of the assessee has already been completed under section 143 sub section 3 and there was any failure on the part of the assessee to not disclose fully all the information which was necessary for the assessment this was the lapse on the part of the department so the assessment was quashed friends this case is very important because the cross examination is a vital part of any assessment 
at the end of this video once again i am repeating the name of the case the name of the case is principal commissioner of income tax versus prabhav dayal agarwal and this case has been reported in 456 itr at page number 84 and the matter has been decided by delhi high court and the date of the judgment is 9th december 2022